A furious rows flared up between Britain and America over plans by the Chancellor to impose a green tax on transatlantic flights. It's claimed the move could double the amount of tax passengers pay and make Britain a more expensive transatlantic destination than the rest of Europe. Britain says the tax is to encourage airlines to use planes more efficiently and to cut greenhouse gases. Washington says it's a revenue-raising exercise which raises deep concerns and serious legal questions. Julian Rush reports. From the day it was founded, the US has had issues with Britain over tax. This latest diplomatic row over Treasury plans to replace air passenger duty, a tax on tickets, by a tax on every flight. With greenhouse gas emissions from aircraft, some of the fastest growing, the Treasury says its aim is to ensure the aviation industry makes a greater contribution towards its environmental costs. The intention to discourage airlines from flying half-empty planes and to tax freight flights for the first time. Moving the tax onto the plane rather than onto the passenger will make the aviation industry wake up. They're going to have to be a lot more smarter and a lot more efficient in how they use planes, when they use planes, how efficient those planes are. The existing air passenger duty at 10 to 20 pounds for a short haul flight and 40 to 80 pounds for long haul is expected to raise some two billion pounds this year. The new duty will be banded by distance two and also depend on the maximum takeoff weight of the plane. By and large, heavier planes have higher emissions. The Treasury says it'll initially raise a similar sum, some two and a half billion, rising by 10 percent in its second year. The US government, though, bluntly dismisses the Treasury's claim it's a green tax, saying, although it's cast as an environmental measure, in reality, it's nothing more than a device for generating additional revenue from the airline community. And it says there's no evidence it'll work. The Treasury, it says, does not demonstrate that the new duty would influence airlines to adjust their fleets or their booking practices to get fuller planes. One of the points that the Americans have made, and which we subscribe to, is it's actually illegal under the terms of what's called the Chicago Convention. Effectively, the UK government will be trying to tax planes flying over other state skies. Um, that's not for me to decide on, but that's one of the legal uh, things that comes into it. The airline industry, already beset by rising fuel bills, predicts the new duty could be as much as £100 per ticket, and passengers will fly long haul via European cities to get lower fares. Aviation environmentalists, though, say that's simply wrong. The extra revenue coming from the charges on freight flights. The American position is not unexpected. President Bush had said he would veto the climate change bill to cap U.S. greenhouse gas emissions Mr. that went Brown before the U.S. Mr. Senate Mr. yesterday. The motion is not agreed to. In the end, he didn't need to. It was blocked by his Republican senators. The majority leader.